nutrition in plants name the components of food as you remember in class 6th we had learned that components of food are carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals and these are necessary for our body they are called as nutrients why do organisms need to take food the nutrients available enable living organisms to build their bodies to grow to repair damaged parts of their bodies and provide the energy to carry out life processes nutrition is the mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization by the body so basically nutrients ki wajah se living organisms अपने बॉडीज को बनाते हैं रिपेयर डैमेज पार्ट्स और एनर्जी प्रोवाइड करते हैं इस तरह से जो खाना लिया जाता है इस्तेमाल किया जाता है उसे हम न्यूट्रिशन कहते हैं और ये बॉडी के लिए बहुत आवश्यक है मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स ऑटोट्रॉफिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन The mode of nutrition in which organisms make their own food from simple substances is called autotrophic nutrition. Autos means self, trophos means nourishment. Therefore, the plants are called as autotrophs. Coming to the other form, heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Animals and most of the organisms that take in ready-made food prepared by plants are called as heterotrophs. heteros means other trophos means nourishment so the mode of nutrition is called as heterotrophic nutrition now photosynthesis food making process in plants leaves are the food factories of plants they synthesize the synthesis of food in plants occurs in the leaves water and minerals present in the soil are absorbed by the roots and transported to the leaves carbon dioxide is taken up from the air through the tiny pores present on the surface of the leaves these pores are surrounded by what we know as the guard cells these pores are the stomata the leaves have a green pigment called chlorophyll it helps leaves to capture the energy of the sunlight and the energy is synth is used to synthesize food from carbon dioxide and water since synthesis of food occurs in the presence of sunlight it is called as photosynthesis photo means light synthesis is to combine why is the sun called the ultimate source of energy chlorophyll sunlight carbon dioxide water are necessary to carry out the process of photosynthesis the solar energy is captured in the leaves and stored in the plant in the form of food thus the sun is the ultimate source of energy for all living organisms now what is photosynthesis as you knew that during photosynthesis chlorophyll containing cells of the leaves in the presence of sunlight use carbon dioxide and water to synthesize carbohydrates the process can be represented by the equation carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll forming carbohydrate and oxygen chlorophyll and stomata as you know you can see at the top part we have taken a section of the leaf there is the green part these green colored structures is called as chlorophyll then you can see around the surrounding the stomata this is stomata is nothing but an opening and surrounding the stomata is the guard cells activity 1 the carbohydrates ultimately get converted into starch to jo plant carbohydrate banata hai jitne uski avashyakta hai wo istemal karta hai baki starch ke form mein ye jama karke rakhta hai the presence of starch in the leaves will indicate the occurrence of photosynthesis starch ka hona leaves mein isse ye pata chalta hai ki photosynthesis hua hai ab ye ek activity ke dwara ye samajh samjha ja sakta hai इस एक्टिविटी में हमें एक हेल्दी पॉटेड प्लांट चाहिए और ये प्लांट को अंधेरे में डार्क में तीन दिन के लिए रखना है 
ये इसलिए किया जाता है ताकि हम स्टार्च को रिमूव कर सकें नाउ दिस पॉटेड प्लांट इज केप्ट इन द सन फॉर सिक्स आवर्स देन आफ्टर विच द लीफ वॉज प्लक्ट नाउ दिस पॉटेड प्लांट वॉज केप्ट इन द सन फॉर सिक्स आवर्स अ लीफ वॉज प्लक्ट फ्रॉम द प्लांट द लीफ वॉज डिप्ड इन बॉइलिंग वाटर फॉर अ फ्यू मिनट्स देन इट इज टेकन आउट एंड प्लेस्ड इन अ बीकर कंटेनिंग एल्कोहल द बीकर वॉज प्लेस्ड ओवर अ वाटर बाथ the water vat is heated till the alcohol starts to boil the leaf is placed in the watch glass and then two drops of iodine was added you will see that the portion that is containing the chlorophyll that is the green part is going to be changed to blue black this is indicating the presence of starch actually why we use this boiled water it is done to soften the leaf after which we can remove chlorophyll and chlorophyll is removed by when we boil the leaf in alcohol in a water bath from this we can find out that starch is produced during the after the process of photosynthesis that is the carbohydrate formed after the process of photosynthesis some part is going to be utilized and other is going to be stored in the form of starch now synthesis of other components of food the carbohydrates are made of carbon hydrogen and oxygen they are used to synthesize other components of food such as proteins and fats however proteins are nitrogenous substances and contain nitrogen where does this nitrogen come from nitrogen is present in abundance in the air as you have studied in class 6 the bacteria present in the soil converts this atmospheric nitrogen into useful form of nitrogen or nitrogen compounds this is absorbed by the plant with water and farmers can add it in the form of fertilizers now heterotrophic mode of nutrition there are some plants that do not have chlorophyll and so they cannot synthesize their own food such plants depend on the food prepared by other plants cascuta amarbel does not have chlorophyll it derives its food from the plant on which it climbs the plant on which it climbs is called the host and cascuta itself is a parasite since it deprives the host of valuable nutrients cascuta is going to be known as a parasite this is a picture of cascuta as you can see amarbel insectivorous plant the pitcher plant there are a few plants which trap insects and digest them such plants may give green color or some other color the pitcher plant has its leaf to be modified into a pitcher like structure pitcher yani thala type ka structure hota hai the apex of the leaf forms a lid jo uska end hota jo tip hota hai wo ek lid dakkan ke noma hota hai which can open and close the mouth of the pitcher inside the pitcher there is a hair when an insect falls into the or lands into the pitcher the lid closes and traps the insect the trapped insect gets entangled in the hair the insects gets digested by the digestive juices in the pitcher such insect eating plants are called insectivorous plants this is the pitcher plant you can see there is a lid and then you have got the picture like structure thank you